Have you ever wondered why Alaska is a part of the United States despite bordering Canada? Well, in 1741, Russia discovered Alaska and proceeded to colonize it for its sea otters, and it was also seen as cool to have a colony at that time. But fast forward to the 1850s, and Russia now wanted to sell Alaska. So that begs the question, why? One reason for this is that the sea otters had been overhunted, making Alaska unprofitable. It was also too far north for the settlers to grow food there, making it unlikely for Alaska to have a large population. It was also hard to manage due to its distance, and Russia worried that an influx of Americans searching for gold was inevitable. Plus, Russia was afraid of Britain taking advantage of Alaska's vulnerability by taking it over through British Columbia. I mean, Alaska only had 800 settlers at its peak, so Britain taking it over would have been easy. But the main reason why Russia wanted to sell Alaska was due to the Crimean War, which Russia had lost and gotten into a lot of debt for. The question now is, why sell to the United States and not, say, Canada? Well, Russia didn't want to sell Alaska to Canada because it was a British colony at that time and Russia and Britain were rivals. Plus, they just fought each other during the Crimean War, so that wasn't going to be an option. Instead, they offered Alaska to the United States because it could offset Britain's power in the Pacific and they wanted to strengthen their friendship with the US. Some Americans thought that Alaska could be a good asset because of its gold, fur, and fisheries, along with increased trade with China and Japan. Like Russia, America was also worried about Britain having too much power in the Pacific, but by buying Alaska, they could counterbalance this. The big thing though was Manifest Destiny. As America Americans still wanted to expand and conquer the entire North American continent. So for these reasons, Russia offered Alaska to the United States. But they were going through a bit of a civil war at that time, so they had to wait. Once the war was finished though, Alaska would be purchased by the United States for the low price of $7.2 million or 2 cents an acre. And on October 18th, 1867, Alaska would thereafter become a part of the United States. The US has not one but two Virginias, and to find out why, click here. Thanks for watching.